every job we take, we make some new friends. We get the ball, we score the goals, and then it's on again. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a brand new start. Until tomorrow, the aim is he would park. Folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2020 game save with Olympic Marseille. That's right, we're on the journeyman. Now, before we get stuck into the old business, I want a big shout out to the Patreons. You know who you are. That's right, the VIP exclusive gang. There's now 10 of them. Uh, I want a big shout out to the two new additions, uh, Bianca Milan. Of course, the returning James Kingbra. That's right, aka LG and Cow. He's once back again as a supporting patron of the channel. He joins the likes of Russell Frost, Cody Caho, Tom Clark, Tom Beres. For the legend John Spurn, Aztec B Mark, Aztec Marky B Mark, Noco Drinker, and of course Daniel Meller there at the at the end. So yeah, uh, thank you very much again for supporting the channel in another way. And if you are watching this and you're thinking, how on earth can I become a, a Patreon for the channel? There is a link down below, patreon.com forward slash Rover Season. You can support the channel in another way, boys, besides your viewership. And you can support Olympic Marseille in another way. That's right. Let's have a look at how we're getting on. We're doing absolute tremendous out in the league, but so are PSG. So the, we just can't get the better of them at the moment. But that's not too long away. If you catch me tomorrow, we will be taking on PSG to see just how well these boys are. Anyway, let's bring up to date with what you'd missed. So following on our back-to-back -back wins against uh, AC Milan and Strasbourg in the last episode, we took on Reims and we won 3-0. Uh, three first half goals, three in fact three goals within the first 15 minutes. Bramado get on the score sheet within the first minute. Slap that bad boy home. Uh, a couple minutes later, around about seven minute mark, Vesper on a nice little jinky little run. Uh, eventually, get the ball in the back of the net with that rifle. Pick that one out, he says. And then wrapping it all up on the 14th minute. Palau lays it back to Waters, who does get the cross in. It's a bit messy, but out stops Ellie Urbrick. That's like his fourth goal of the season. He's turned out to be a bit of a bargain. 3-0 uh, in the end. We then took on AC Milan back at their place, uh, and we lost 1-0. Scrappy. The one and only goal come from uh, Edison Alvarez. Uh, we also had a man sent off. That uh, didn't really help our chances as we crashed to another defeat in the Champions League. We then took on Toulouse at their place. Uh, we got back to winning ways. 3-2 on the road. Now, this was not the easiest game in the world, but we actually took a two-goal lead. Bramado get on the score sheet within the sixth minute. Slotted that one home. Goal number two, though. Um, who was that? That was from uh, Paolao with a belt of a free kick. He, like, he likes doing that every now and again. Uh, but then it was the comeback. Uh, Curabres get himself a brace today. That was his first, but we made uh, sure of the a bit more comfortable work of it. Vespa getting stuck in and out again with another rifle. Uh, top right-hand corner. Uh, that made it 3-1, but then a little bit nervy. Waters with a, a shady throw-in. Goes out to uh, Rassi, who sets up his matey boy, Curraris, to get his second. Uh, to make it 3-2. And then right here, right now, hot off the press. We've just taken on Nantes, and we won 1-0. Triple L will get the one and only goal on the 31st minute. It's only his second goal of the season. Last year, he was uh, rifling them home. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, that, that was a winner. So today, we're going to take on Tottenham Hotspur. That's right, the Champions League. And then we're going to take on High Flying Ren. Here we are, boys and girls, up against Spurs. That's right. Who currently can't find ourselves top of the table out in Group D in the old Champions League. Situation is like this. We're in third spot behind AC Milan on gold difference we need to ideally we need to get something out of this game um and hopefully uh that milan failed to beat benfica because then we got to take on benfica to wrap it on up with an outside shot to get through i'm thinking a draw would be nice um but 10 points might not be enough it might not be enough so um let's get into it then and have a little look at the boys in action so once again, it's a makeshift lineup due to the registration error uh, earlier. Marseille between the sticks, Leonardo, Diebold, Cisse, and Waters at the back. Urbeck, Eriksson, Paulao in the middle of the park. Goebbels on the left, Triple O on the right, Vesper up top. I'm actually going to throw a fort in there for uh, for Urbeck. Flip flop these bad boys around a little bit. Let's get into it. Alrighty, up against Spurs. Apparently, it's the line. Kane's on the bench. Deli Alley Fishers Jr. It's it's quite a tasty little team that did us over at their place. But I believe we're going into this all guns blazing. That's right. We're going into this attacking to try and uh, really take the game to Spurs to see if we can maybe get something out of this. Of course, it is the Velodrome. We uh, like to be we like to make this a bit of a fortress. Uh, meanwhile, uh, PSG spanked their opponents in this round of the, uh, the Champions League ten 0 It was Red Star Belgrade. 
That's what we're up against, boys. That's what we're up against. A juggernaut, that is, PSG. And, and as the days and the weeks and whatever go by, I'm starting to think that we might not do it. We might not be able to do it. But tomorrow will be a massive key as to just, just how close we can get. Because if we can get anything at the game against PSG, then uh, our chances will be... Uh, Better. And so far, look at this. Bit of a snore fest. However, last minute.com highlight. Which way will it go? Looks like it's going for Spurs. Pulls it back to Vavaldi. To Nombele. Fort with a bit of a push. Gets away with it. Matravani gets a shot off. Marseille with quick reflexes down to the ground and saves. Uh, according to this, it is Movember. Movember.com. Over the top. Chance for a shot. That would have been a good goal. But uh, unfortunately for them, or fortunately for us actually, it went over. 0-0, half time. Not much to get excited about so far, but maybe the second half is a little bit more in this uh, in this side. Fort does look a little bit sluggish, so we may make that initial change that uh, we uh, we uh, flip flopped about. Bring on Erdebeck. How about Vespa? He's on a yellow. We should take him off. Mo Salah up top. How about Mo Salah up top? We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll give it a blast. Got one sub left in the locker. Show some passion, lads. Show some piss and passion. Show some piss and passion. It's not been the most explosive game, has it? Just the one real highlight. The point would be okay for us. It looks like Milan have been held. Benfica over the top. Oh, good grab by Onana between the sticks for Spurs. Where's my Onana? Maybe I should bring my own Arna to, to take him on. Anyway, here comes Spurs, building from the back. This is worrying. Tite uh, back to Valvalde. Over the top there for Gedison, who's a full back. Pulls it back. Loose ball, but picked up by Parrot, who's not where you want him. You want him forward. He'll get to it, though, eventually. Gedson back to Tite. Pulls it back for Gedson. Can we break this down? No, it's over the top. Let's bring on my own Arna. Is my own Arna on the bench? He is. So if we take off Ericsson, flip-flop them badges... And make it Onana versus Onana. And which one will come out on top in this last stretch. So Milan being held by uh, Benfica. Which might be good. Uh, which means uh, it all go down to the wire. Any team can qualify. Here we go. Unless unless we absolutely turn this on its head. Leonardo. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Goes for it. Uh, out to Onana on the left. Goes for goal. Up against his maybe his brother. You don't know. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. But anyway, it looks like it's going to peter out to a snore fest in draw. Unless there's a last minute dot com highlight, which I don't think there is. We tried our best. Nil nil. We held Spurs. We got a point out of it. Oh, that is. Um, I don't know. I think that's, that's, that's actually not going to work out in our favour. Just thinking about this. Uh, nil nil. One one in the end. The situation of the group is like this. Uh, Spurs are up there with a goal difference of 7 with 10 points. If Milan were to be victorious over Tottenham, that put them on 10 points and probably a plus goal difference. We would need to be beat Benfica quite convincingly if we're going to get ourselves through. So it's looking at the moment that we are... Um... In fact, scrap that, all that. Scrap all that. Scrap what I just said. Because if, if, if Milan failed to beat Tottenham and we were victorious over Benfica, we'll go through. There we go. Forget about goal difference, folks. Forget about goal difference. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, all to do. And uh, that conclusion will be tomorrow, won't it? Yeah, we'll take on PSG and Benfica. What an episode. I've got in store for you guys there. But anyway, next up, High Flying Ren. Meanwhile, just in case you're wondering, of course I know you guys are, we all know how the Olympic Marseille 2 are getting on. We're actually uh, sitting second in the table, looking pretty, just one defeat of the season. And look who is top of the goal scoring charts. It is, of course, me old mucker. That's right, the jokester. That's right, banging in eight goals. He's ripping it up. He's tearing it up. Uh, yeah, and uh, scoring goals for fun. Of course, we are Mio Maka from Odebo and FC20. And of course, way back when, uh, when we were in Finland, he was the opposition. That's right. And I'm hoping he's going to get back to double digits uh, this season. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, is he going to get a, a, a future for us for Marseille main, main team? I don't know. Uh, maybe when Gusted packs it, and he'll be the he'll be the go-to guy that we bring in everywhere, like a like a like a like a good penny, like he's a lady luck sort of thing. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get into it. So now we're take on High Flying Rens. They are fourth in the table, of course, after um, a couple of games elsewhere. PSG, of course, won. They did uh, two 0 against uh, Lille. Olympic Lyon uh, moving closer to us as well into third above Rennes. 
Um, the past four encounters, though, sees two wins for Renz and two wins for us. Uh, so it's going to be a tough old boots, this one. So I'm not expecting a walker right now. We could, we could drop some points here, which uh, would not be great in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but fortunately for us, a few players are uh, recovering and ready uh, to get their teeth stuck into the big boys. So let's get into it. Okay, now, folks, here we with the starting 11. In fact, I'm just going to make a change here. Waters does not look like himself. He looks like a, I don't know, a paper bag. Um, he just doesn't look up for it. Uh, Marseille between sticks, Leonardo at left back, Diebolt, Cissé and Van Dijk. Of course, the lonely coming in. Trichikovic, uh, Urbic and Paulau in midfield. Vespa on the left. Gabriel Enrique Okay, the low knee on the right. Junior Bramado up top. Uh, Triple L not fit. Waters, I don't think I'm going to even put you on the bench, pal. Uh, Dubois, you can come on the bench. Um, got quite a tidy uh, a little options now uh, for substitutes. Uh, Onana, Fort. Yeah, I think, well, so far I've not been impressed with Salah. Of course, Neymar, they've all been a bit, they've all been a bit shit. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's get into it and hopefully beat Renz. Because uh, that, that, I wasn't anticipating them to be up there, but they're up there, and uh, they could, they can cause us problems. So we're gonna let's, let's go into a little cautiously, eh, shall we? All right, let's go. Just have a quick scan. Singari, he's a bit of a savvy little player. Besides that, not too familiar. All right, here we go. Exciting times. Exciting times over in France. It's just us, just us, no one else is on. It's all eyes on this guy. Potential. Van Dijk to Gabriel Enrique, the Lonies linking up nicely. Down to Paulau over the top. Chance for a header, Ali Urbeck picks it up. Back to Trejicovic, to Leonardo, who's slowly getting to be a good, decent left back. Took his time a little bit. Vespa to Urbeck. Spreads it to Paulau. Back to Trejicovic. The midfield trio linking up nicely. Gabriel Enrique lays it off to Van Dijk. Of course, the Real Madrid loan. He pulls it back. This is nice build up. Hopefully, there's some end product to this. Urbic switches it forward. Bramado with a shot. No, if you can call it that. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't think you can call it that. I think it was disgusting. Um, transfer transfer situation. Of course, the transfer window will be opening up in a couple of weeks. The board have given me a bit more money, around about eight million to spend. So I'm going to be looking to bring in a striker because realistically, the guys, the Onanas, the uh, whoever has got the Goebbels and all these kind of stuff, they just they're not they're not good enough really to 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 put Romano under any pressure. I'm looking for a gem, of course. Ortiz might be available as well. Um, but anyway, half time, nil nil. Bit boring. Story of the day here, folks. Bit boring. Not much to get excited about but tomorrow though. I can't wait for tomorrow. Even if we fail to lose here, fail to win here, um, tomorrow's a big one. Get anything out of that. And it will show us what we're all about. Thumped forward by the keeper. Picked up at the back there by Krejcikovic. He makes a run past my right back. Ooh, a couple of little runs there. D dinking and diving. Ultimately, though, not much going on here. Van Dijk to Trejicovic. Come on, son. Let's find something. Ali Urbeck. To Gabriel Enrique. Lays it off for Van Dijk. The Lonies again linking up nicely. This time lays it off to Urbeck with a strike and it's a goal. Get in. We're going to go back to balanced. That was good. That was a good goal. Urbeck. Thank you, son. Thank you. We've not been we've not been at the races today. It's like we're a little bit jet lagged. We need to get that out of our system. Fortunately, there is a game for us to uh, get that out of our system. Between uh, the big ones, Bramado tries to make it two. Two would be good. Uh, a little bit nervous now. Last twenty minutes, we just got to hold on. But yeah. Tomorrow, PSG and Benfica. It's it's basically the game of the uh, the video of the season because it's going to see if we can compete with League One, and it's also going to see if we're going to get through to the knockout stages of the Champions League into the final three minutes. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Not of the death. Not of the death. Great grab, Marseille, and that should be it. I'm not going to touch a thing. Oh goodness. Lastminute.com corner. We don't want to see this. 
Oh, great grab, Marseille. I've had my doubts. I've had my doubts about you, but you've turned out to be a solid keep. And I'll show you that in a minute because we've had a bundle, a bundle of clean sheets. And we're 1 0 in the end. Yep, so after that, match day number 15, it's we're right on your heels, PSG, waiting for you to slip up again. Of course, you slipped up once before. Um, but yeah, look at the clean sheet record for us. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven clean sheets in the past nine games. So, uh, defense is where it's all at, boys. Defense is where it's all at. So, of course, tomorrow we are going to take on PSG and we are going to take on Benfica in what has been dubbed by me the video of the season right here to see what we're all about. Uh, behind scenes, I'll take on Bordeaux in a minute and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be back tomorrow. Until then, boys, hopefully you enjoyed this one. Smash that thumbs up, smash the subscribe. Not many goals, but uh, plenty of drama ahead. Again, if you're interested to become a Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com forward slash Roverseas. Support the channel in another way. There are perks and privileges, which I'm going to redo and revamp over the summer. And basically, um, you'll be, if, if you decide to jump in, you'll be, you'll be available to get into those tiers and, and take a look at the perks and privileges. But until then, boys, I'm out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>